It's a very good morning to you from the outer known Fiji Pro. As you join us in the second heat of round four, it is non-elimination. Three stack with Italo Ferreira taking on Michelle Barres and the exciting rookie Leonardo Fioravanti finally getting some traction in the championship tour jersey. Big Cilias alongside 89 world champion Martin Potter, who's got more experience here at the cloud break than probably half the rookie. Well, all the rookies put together. <laughs> uh, <laughs> away from him to try and get back down to the inside further. And here he is finding himself a wave. So Leo off the bottom, tags the lip, see if he can come around that corner. Looking for more on the inside. Bang, again, up into the bowl. Beautiful execution there. Another one into the corner. A little lump on the face, but handling it really well as he bashes away again. Beautiful surfing right there from Leo, finishing off on the inside, and a great tip from the coach to get his distance to get back inside and found himself a good opener. The athletes in the lineup. Yeah, that's just a bit of experience, too. Here we go, Michel Berez. Michel Berez, we love the stall that he brings to the game, and he's using it again here. Little thread now loads up the turns, finds a runner on the reef here, cloud break, and a big hit as well. Nice little drift as well on that firewire equipment serving him so well and now three-wave set we'll get Italo involved behind the curtain beautiful lines you'll pump it and oh. you'll re-emerge so that ankle holding the pressure here now Italo will go to the lip and he'll spike it oh incomplete in the shallows yeah, so a great you know, little three-pronged story there for us to break down parts yeah uh, you know it's it's one of those things too when you watch a surfer competing with an injury you know every time he makes a move you, you're ooing and ahhing you know i know two occasions there where idlo could have got squished in the barrel came out of that and then that last maneuver really testing that ankle look done a real tight inspection of that ankle let's have a look at uh, how that ankle holds the pressure here wow look at that barrel there for idlo for driving through the section and somehow fights his way out so so far so good for idlo for and then just this last maneuver just not getting that board under his feet enough Connecting with that inside rail. Look at this barrel from Ilo Ferreira. How did he fight his way out of that? Incredible strength there from uh, the young Brazilian. The scores starting to trickle in. So the panel bringing those opening scores for us. Leo Ferravani on the inside section here. You can see nice opening turn. Just taking his time with it. Picking his maneuvers at the right time. Connecting nicely with the lip. Now it starts to get a little bit wobbly through that inside section. But... It doesn't hurt him at all. Leo Ferravanti around the section again, finishing off nicely. And we talked about Leo probably going to get a little bit of the advantage here, sitting further down the line. Smart move for the Italian Stallion as he brings it around through the inside. Beautiful drone shot there. Nice connection with the lip. I love the way he was not rushing it, just taking his time making sure he picked the right turn at the right time, and uh, that's exactly what he did. No sense of urgency right there on the opening wave. Make sure, like Barton Lynch said, get your good scores under your belt, and then cut loose. Michel Berez sliding into the barrel there, slowing himself down. Nice little tube ride, maybe not as deep as what he would have liked to have, but connecting nicely with the end there. So three scores on the board, and as we thought, Leo with a slight advantage. The numbers uh, coming in. There's that water angle. This is what Strider gets to see all the time, Pots. Yeah. Chobrez, they're not quite connecting with maneuver number two and then finish nicely. So, nice little cover up. A couple of turns, get his confidence up. Hang on, we'll watch this first and I'll get back to you. All right, so we'll uh, follow Michelle Perez. He'll thread a beautiful little tube here. Now, pocket ahead and he'll jam it hard. A little bit stuck, but he'll find the completion. So, Already posting a second wave. Richie Porter, we're still with you. Let's talk more about that scale and how it applies to the hard tide here. Well, no, like barrels are really good. You know, it's, it's what, as surfers, we're all chasing. Yep. Um, but especially out here, and you know what it's like when it's bending at you and it's running down the reef. They're the harder and more adrenaline sort of style barrels, and they score accordingly. Uh, what about Michelle Perez's foot drag in the barrel? I mean, that was pretty amazing. Yeah, we'll just watch him here. Well, we're watching Michel Berez here. Of course, uh, the question is about those foot drags. It's just a repertoire of backhand turns. The wave's gone a little bit wide on the reef here, Potts, but nonetheless, he's hammered away at it. We saw him doing that successfully yesterday. But back to that question, Rich, uh, with Potts and you, uh, that, that incredible stall tactic that we saw from Michel Berez in round one. 
and technique and uh, I've noticed that a lot of the surfers have been having a lot, a lot of fun with it since then. Um, you'd have to ask him, well I guess it slowed him down really <laughs> yeah. well and it worked, it was just, it, uh, it was a different technique for sure and well it, it slotted him in there well and truly didn't it. How does uh, how do the judges identify that with something that you haven't seen? How do you then come to a, a score line, so to speak? Well, we're still. Hang on, I'll just watch uh, Leo here. Well, Leo's going to thread the barrel here. His own version of it. Multiple sections there. It is a smaller day today than that uh, footage we're seeing of Michelle Perez back on day one. It'll be an incomplete. So we'll wrap up uh, Rich Richie Porter's questions in a minute. And meanwhile, we'll follow Italo, who's threading. This is a down the line one. A little bit of a handbrake though, you see him just bleeding that speed off. Now into a set of rail wraps, tight connection. And incomplete at the end, Potts. Yeah, again that ankle. Oh. Thanks so much, Richie Porter, for the great insight. Of course, uh, you can go back and find that on the Heat Analyzer. Of course, on the World Surf League app. As we follow the action now in round four, Heat 2. Leonardo Fioravanti already opening with a 6.5. Building numbers now in the Heat against his opponents. Tight little lip section there we'll see him take a stumble with a little under 13 to go so there's alongside martin potter and what a great post show yesterday from young leonardo fioravanti go check that out yeah on the world surf league app a true asset to the sport but the most experience in this heat belongs to this man and here's the replay while we're away yeah michelle Perez. well he's been going to the tube ride uh, on his first couple of uh, occasions this time deciding just to absolutely blaze this wave and demolish it all the way through the inside. Some big, huge, solid backside maneuvers from Michel Barres again, that body extension, I love it. And is he gonna finish off? Wow. Yes, he does. Whoa, not quite. So Michel Barres, we're talking about no one's really taken charge of this heat. No one's really dropped a big score just yet. Um, well, guess what? Michel Barres finally found something special. Look at that, just maneuver after maneuver, just cranking it up, upside down turns from him. And again, bashing that lip all the way through the inside the judges loved it the low of an 8.5 the high of a 9.5 three nines averaged out to a 9.0 unleashed the backhand hacks whole package of them for that nine point rod so great read of the heat from michelle Burez. And as we say that heat leader will now look to cement this win here in round four you see straight back to the heavy maneuver repertoire not looking for the barrel hitting it hard Slightly unglued there, but he holds it back together, and that's a tight vertical approach. Hacks oh. it again, and he's just machining this wave down the reef. Wow, third in line for priority, and found that little gem. So that's going to better his situation. 5.83 is his second highest scoring ride. And, and Barton touched on it too, you know, getting those nice yep. little tube rides, realizing that he wasn't getting big scores. Front, look, adjusted, and adjusted to a point where he dropped a 9.0 and he's now going to better his situation yet again. Further up the reef and found this little gem that just kept giving. Look at the power that Michel Barres puts into his surfing. Nicknamed the Spartan. Why? Because he is just a powerhouse surfer. Almost losing it right there, regathering and finishing off strong. So Michel Barres fi finding some groove, finding a bit of confidence, finding some momentum. And uh, uh, good waves out here at Cloud Break can become contagious. Back-to-back -back good ones there from Michel of a 9.23 and well Italo's been left way back in the story here with uh, just over a minute on the clock he'll give way here to the Italian Leo goes to the backhand as well he's got to go right up into the top end scores glues those turns together beautifully nice dump section at the end but we're not seeing a 9.23 out of that pots Lost a huge slice of the top 10 on the Jeep leaderboard, but it is opportunities for this man here, Michel Barres. He's cemented now a quarterfinal berth in the outer-known Fiji Pro Care of this heat win right here, and he'll be sending Leonardo Fioravante and Italo Ferreira to break.